Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Still watching a couple of areas. Uh, this is at Invest 98. We've been watching this throughout the weekend. Conditions still favorable that we can see some development with this. This could become a tropical or subtropical depression really at any point. Uh, we'll just continue to watch this as we go through the next couple of days. No real issues for us. It's going to stay off uh, the east coast of the U.S. and then basically just kind of work its way on towards the northeast. More importantly, we're watching Tropical Storm Dorian. Winds right now are sitting at 60 miles an hour. As you watch the satellite loop, pretty interesting because you'll see that big flare-up of convection. It'll tend to die down, and then you'll see yet another big flare-up of convection. The reason why it's been dealing with the dry air. It is basically surrounded by the dry air at this point. There's the view. Uh, anywhere you see that red shade, that's dry air. So what it's trying to do is it's trying to, to wall off or basically just kind of hold out all that dry air. And every once in a while, a little bit of that gets in in the mid-levels, and that's what you see. It kind of dies down in the system. So that's going to be basically the thing that we watch over the next several days because you can see there is lots of dry air across much of the Caribbean and basically all on the track that this is forecasted to move along. Now, the one thing going for it is lower wind shear at this point. And also, we do have some very warm waters through this area. So those are helping this. But as it moves up towards Puerto Rico and Hispaniola, it does look like the wind shear will start to pick back up over this system. So I got to tell you, there's really a lot of question marks as we go through the next several days. This is not a clear-cut forecast whatsoever. 12.3 degrees north, 57.7 west top winds. As I said, they're now at 60 miles an hour. So you watch this forecast track. Moves over the lowered windward islands by tonight uh, and into tomorrow morning, becoming a hurricane as it gets into the extreme eastern Caribbean. At least that's the thinking right now, if it can hold off that dry air. Then really the big question mark is going to be, what kind of land interactions do we get with Puerto Rico or Hispaniola? And that could really spell out the rest of the forecast track because if it has major interactions with Hispaniola, this system could be just basically shredded. But at this point, forecast track maybe doesn't have as much of the uh, interaction. So it moves over towards the Bahamas. And then we got to basically just kind of wait and see because we've got the dry air. We've got an increase in the wind shear. How much problems does this des develop? as it moves by these islands so i see i know you can see it's it's heading in the direction of florida uh, as you look at this forecast track still too early to say exactly what could happen with this because we just have all these question marks in between where it is now and where it could end up by the weekend but we're going to continue to watch this very closely and you look at the various computer models you see a pretty tight clustering so it looks like that forecast track we're starting to consolidate uh, but that intensity that's always been a big problem and then when you add in these extra question marks of the dry air uh, with this system and the land the possible land interactions that's what really starts to create a lot of big question marks with this so as far as Florida is concerned, this is basically something that we have to watch over the next several days. Nothing to get too alarmed about at this point. And of course, we're going to keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.